so me and Bella are down by the bay and something pink's happening here. I don't know what it is, but I'm stuck on the other side of it, so I'm gonna have to walk through it. And I don't know what that's about. Pink coffee and supercars, it seems a bit strange. I don't like it. Uh, but it's a good start to this video here uh, where we're in Cardiff. It's me, it's Bella. We're outside the, uh, what's that? The Welsh National Opera House, I think they call it nowadays. Um, come by the boom. And we are in Cardiff Bay. It is a sunny day. It's one of the busiest uh, moments I've seen in donkeys. I've not seen Cardiff this busy for a long time. I think this is possibly the busiest I've seen it for a while. But of course, I'm going to take a diversion away from the famous Mermaid Quay and the bay itself and the little Ferris wheel over there and where they film Torchwood and the like and all of these supercars. And I'm going to go down the road and I'm going to go and see how Cardiff Police Station's doing. Cardiff Bay Police Station. A police station I mentioned in the last audit. Um, maybe it was the audit before, yeah, it was the Clifton Street audit. And it's a very interesting one. So, I'm just going to uh, hide some of my stuff before I do this audit because I think this is probably the most likely police station to have some form of friction. But Cardiff's been pretty good recently. Um, to be honest, I think they understand auditing quite well and they, they're starting to learn the lessons um, from training and the like. But let's hope we get some sort of interaction uh, that's intriguing and can uh, be beneficial to both sides. I will be back with you soon. As promised, here we are. We are on our way down towards Corporation Road. A road I used to live on actually in a place called Grangetown. When I started living there, they hadn't put the gates up in the alleyways and we used to live right on the corner of uh, one of those alleyways and we used to just hear prostitutes having sex next to our back garden door all of the time because it was a bit of a rough area, Grangetown. Still is. Um, it's mainly where they put minority communities for years and years and years. Um, to get down to here, I walked down Lloyd George Avenue, which is down that way, and this is good looking. It's nowadays, it's looking posh, you know, Lloyd George Avenue. It's full of uh, swanky houses. But once upon a time, it was Butte Town. It was where they stuck all the Somali community to keep them away from the white folk like they do. And, um, and it was run down as fuck. It was full of crime, uh, anger, um, and the Somali community just got left to rot down there, Somalis, Yemenis. It wasn't only Somalis, there were other people who were down there. And um, so many people got left to rot down there. And then when it was come time to develop in, they just kicked all those people to out to all other places over Cardiff, even though Butte Town had become their home. And they knocked it all down, every single house that was there in the old... Um, the Butte Town area where it was mainly like the, where the Somali communities lived every single home got demolished and they rebuilt the entirety of Cardiff Bay uh, residential living areas which of course has brought in masses of money for the community and uh, we're here's West Butte Street um, so this leads all of all of this is going away from the main swanky part of the bay now. Like I say, we're heading towards Grangetown and Corporation Road. And just coming up soon enough will be Cardiff Bay Police Station. Now, I had to come down here to do um, a photo ID one time, an ID to ID some criminal. Uh, I had been with friends and outside the house someone started kicking off wing mirrors off the cars uh, he was a drunk a real arsehole of the biggest order and went out there to try and stop my mate's car getting his wing mirror wing his mirror bashed in his car damaged by this ridiculous wonder and um and the guy 
he wanted to start a fight with me but he couldn't get close enough to me he was a little bit drunk and I wasn't drunk um, a little bit stoned I have to admit but uh, we did a little dance around for a bit until the police turned up and eventually we gave a statement that night um, and he got sent into down to Cardiff Bay to spend the night I think processed he might have gone to Romney I don't know See, they usually go to Romney and Cardiff when they go into the jail but they went to we had to go to Cardiff Bay the net the following week to um, ID go through photos to ID the guy uh, for evidence yeah the guy got convicted of course because it was like multiple witnesses and he was a drunk arsehole apparently he had done it loads of times before and this was just one of the many times he'd got drunk and started being violent and angry so I've been in Cardiff Bay police station it's a very swanky police station it's very new I think the um, statue outside cost something like £20,000 to make they had it specially designed for the opening of this new Cardiff Bay police station um, and so this is uh, probably the Cardiff police facilities with the most uh, up-to-date uh, amenities so I, I think they use it for it's probably I, I, I would assume the base for CID um, I think it's just up on this corner now just coming up to it now this area rocks man there's a lot of interesting people around here of course and if you look look at all the spray paint down there some good artists as well happening along this place it's a real classic now this is a an area rife with history we're not that far away from uh, the net white murder happened and the, the cardiff five and then three getting arrested wrongfully jailed for all those years you know this place has a lot of history with the cops and with cops fitting people up for crimes that they didn't commit this is something Cardiff police used to do a lot. They they went to court recently. They, had, they were all in court about it recently, fairly recently. I think it was last year. And basically they um <laughs> they were ripping people's out. Just watching what looks like a drug dealer going across the road outside the police station. I like it. And here we go. So I think this is the start of the police station here. Statue's just behind that tree over there. We'll get to it now. And so you can see it's quite a facility look at this <sighs> so down here they've always got these like side bits that aren't used i suppose that's where maintenance stuff gets allocated when they build these new buildings but it's always strange we saw this at rumney as well and other places they always have these side bits that are locked away and aren't utilized for anything and here is obviously the big garages so this is where they have their big vans come out maybe um, as you see, it's a big building. It's still fairly new. What, like 10, 15 years? Um, that is 15 years, I'd say, it's been up. That's relatively new in Cardiff, I'd say. Has it been that long? Well, it's hard to tell, you know. Time goes so fast nowadays. Like I said, this is just as a bridge over there. Over there, there's a bridge that leads over the, the taff and you go towards... Um, you go towards the wonderful world of Grange Town. And so you see they got the cameras up there. They've got a fair few cameras all around the place. And it's a really big facility, a really big building. Um, of course it looks a little rougher than it did when it first opened up. Some of it's aged well and some of it hasn't. Same with all of these sort of buildings and not look after after the time and why would we want them to be heavily looked after now this is the famous statue here that you can see let's see if we can get it so the sun is lighting up the tower up top aha there you go so the candlelight tower right behind there lit up by the sun um this is obviously a lighthouse isn't it 
that's what it's meant to be. It's a lighthouse and on the stones underneath it has some inscriptions. So let's go and have a little look at the inscriptions. What we get here? <laughs> so Peter Finch, poet, died 2009. Oh no, this is this is when they made it, so this was 2009. So it's about 15 years old. Italian, Irish, Indian, Portuguese, petroleum, Tonopandi, Tonarefel, toaster, raiders, Arabic. Some of it's got sense, some of it not so. Uh, Klingon, Korean. I mean, they've got some weird, so they got Klingon written over here, and Arabic and Juba. Of course, there's lots of similarities between Klingon and Viking and Raiders. Why they got the Raiders there, I do not know. Kurdish. So I would uh, suggest that this is to represent a community, a uh, seismic. There you go, a little bit of Welsh there, uh, English, sorry, in Welsh. A steel. My dad's worked down the steel mills down here, so that does represent some of our history. So I think it's the history of the docks, of all the different communities that live down the docks, and all the different things that have happened down the docks in that time. And look at this. Is it still even a, an actual police station? It doesn't even look like an actual police station nowadays, does it? It looks like it. I mean, it looks so dirty and run down. It's just quite quite depressing that apparently we pay money for all of this. Yeah, we actually pay money for all of this. So let's uh, come around the side, past these ladies, past these ladies who are stealing the bikes outside the police stations. I know what you're up to. And we'll take a little look. So it's definitely still running look how shit you run down has become this is a quite amazing how shit you run down has become so this is cardiff bay police station run by south wales police um, it looks like it's a derelict building it seriously looks like a derelict building i mean the only thing to get that, that makes you think oh look the uh that there's police still here is you got the police car, a uh, car, a uh, police jeep, all terrain vehicle, and the um, paddy wagon down there. This is a nice little motor, isn't it? So they get the nice ones down this way. So I would assume that these are all private number plates. Ooh. <laughs> these fucking police. And this, uh, they seem to get the nicer stuff. I mean, if you looked at Clifton Street police wagon, it was all rusty and shitty and had stains on all the seats. This is a... Uh, oh, no, 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 still. Still looks like someone's been ejaculating on the seats. What are these guys all about? Well, there's a few stories of that. In South Wales, there's been a few uh, coppers who have been caught doing naughty stuff, including filming themselves naked and having sex in the cars and stuff. So they seem to love it. Look at this, okay, so this is a more, look at, look at this gate, it's got like turnstiles. So here you go, this is uh, what the back of the police station looks like. Non-access permitted, non-operational police vehicles. Yeah, so non-operational, so you've got all of the different things like cameras and the like, and you've got the, uh, you've got a, a red and green light, and it, I have to say, it stinks like sewers here completely stinks like sewers. I don't think I've smelled a police station that smells this bad. But here you go, there you go, lines of the police vans. You can see they've got quite a few in there. They got some of the, that's court van over there, I suppose, where they take people down to the court. So obviously this is a, a really well-functioning police station. Um, they got a few of bikes there. Very interesting. Most of those bikes look like they're stolen bikes. The police haven't been stealing bikes again, have they? This gate 
is operated remotely and liable to move without warning. No public access. Stop, stop. Yeah, so they know how to mark it up, of course. And no parking at any time. And uh, I suppose this little bit is something to do with them too. Yeah, look at it. This weird little bit where no one can go. Okay, okay, that's weird. Because that's got no access to anybody. So it's part of the police station. It's just... But it's got no access. So how people meant to go in there? What was it even there for? That's very strange. Very strange indeed. Yeah, so question is, is this another station that they've stopped using? Because a lot of the stations around here, they've just stopped using, so they're not functioning police stations per se. Instead, there's something else. Let's go around the front and see if the door actually works. Actually, first of all, let's see what we've got. Your pedestrian turnstiles. Walk through slowly with reduced left step. Control of speed. Rotation by holding the horizontal steel bar in front of you. Wait for the person in front of you to clear the turnstile before proceeding through. Items too large for turnstile. Report to continue security. So there you go. You see there's some of those colourful bikes in there. I think they use those for when they go out. They form in the back of the van for when they're doing festivals and fates and the like. And um. There's where the police park all of their vehicles. They hate having their number plates taken in course because they see it as some form of terrible breach of security. But that's what they do. So, so far I haven't heard a, part, a peep out of them. However, it is a very busy day in Cardiff. I would assume they're all out doing stuff. And uh, maybe it'd be better to come on a much quieter day. But I thought I'd give him a test today and see what it's like. I expect him to get at least the tiniest of bites here, just due to the fact that uh, uh, a lot of the people who work here are normally up in offices investigating stuff, um, rather than out on the beat. So they're not used to dealing with the public in such a fashion. Um, so here you go. We've got a little. They've got loads of different things. They've got a little disabled lift for wheelchairs. Wheelchair lift, you say. And they've also got a wheelchair ramp just in case the wheelchair lift isn't working. Double, double. Make doubly sure that uh, P's wheelchair accessible accessible for people. I can't say that's a bad thing. Wheelchair lifts cost a lot of money though. Surprising. And look, there's one of the wonderful boys in blue. Off to work, right there, bus? Yeah, yeah. There he is. Seemed intrigued. Seems a little bit intrigued. What's he gonna do? Sit in the back and have a wank? I would think so. <laughs> he did sit in the back. And he probably is having a wink. Oh, he's back out again. Um, hey, it's okay, pal. Oh, Bella doesn't like waiting around for this guy. And here he is again, doing the march up. How are things, mate? How are you doing? All right, how are things with you? Hey? Just having a little look around, mate. Just having a little look around. Ah, good. See? That's another, hopefully, going to be another. Good interaction. Video for anything in particular? Uh, various things, various things, but you know how it is yeah. nowadays. Oh, there's so many reasons to video. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cheers, man. Well, who's passing their audit then? Hmm. So look at this. Look at this. look at how bad. I mean, I mean, they're not going to get full marks because these windows are so dirty. And don't tell me the police station is closed again. Is this true? <laughs> bottle of San Miguel outside the 101 phone and what does it say station oh it's actually open oh my god in handbag no come here about that hey you want my bamboo here you go 
This is what it looks like from the inside. Kind of reminds me of a swimming pool kind of thing. And so, still got the COVID signs up, of course, something we're used to seeing. Ooh, this phone is only to be used on the direction of a front desk member of staff, which I'm sure there's probably a couple. And of course, uh, lives not knives. And the flags. Hello there. How are you today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just come in a little. Yes, very friendly. And she's a bit bored for the fact that we've been walking around. I'm gonna go and have a nice little drink now. Yeah. A drinky poos finder. Yeah, she is. She's a lovely, lovely little girl. Thank you for the attention. Sorry? No, just having a little look around me, love. I think one of the things that you see in auditing around the rest of Britain that's a lot different in Wales and people don't really kind of understand this. Um, and this is one of the only uh, police stations in Cardiff where you can walk into the reception nowadays as well, which I'm, I find amazing. But look how much, it's very much like a leisure centre, isn't it? It makes me feel like a leisure centre, it's still got that era. Um, what was I going to say there? Oh, there's something up there. I wonder what that is. Well, uh, the one thing that you'd find different from Wales than the rest of um, Britain, especially England, is that um, Welsh people are usually pretty friendly, and so they're not used to uh, when they're not used to something, they overcompensate by being extremely friendly. Not necessarily amazing for trying to get one of the more meaty, juicy audits, but still, it's preferable. It's like that. Thank you. It's preferable it'd be like that. You know, you give them the opportunity. It's hard. It, I, it's, hard it's hard doing um, or, uh, auditing now anyway, because a lot of people, a lot of police are getting uh, wise to this idea that people want to hold them to account. And they don't understand it at first. I think they spent a couple of years, uh, people like A, B and stuff were going around, they spent police spent a couple of years really acclimatizing to this new focus and I've, I, I, it shouldn't take too long to kind of understand what's going on in my own opinion um, let's get into a nice situation let's, uh, think about that. it shouldn't take long to understand what's going on personally in my opinion because um, they do so much filming of people they're constantly looking at people, they're constantly watching people, they're constantly hunting people down. So to have a little bit of that come back at you shouldn't be that much of a surprise. But it was at first, because I think, like all um, jobs which include some form of authoritarianism, they weren't expecting that, really. Um, they weren't expecting it, because we had a law and all of that. Um, but not everything works like that forever, you know? Not everything works like that forever. And I think the cops are starting to get used to it. Now, they should get used to it. Um, and they, they should start to accept it more because they've done so many bad things in the past and so members of their forces have been responsible for deaths, murders, rapes abuse of all type, abuse of power, abuse of people, um, sexual abuse, physical abuse, um, torture, harassment, all the many different things that the police have been responsible for in the past. So they should be used to having a little bit of the camera turned back around on them. Because, well, it's that era, it's the era of surveillance. And they are whooping it up a level, making it more. They're saying, we're going to surveil you more and so in response i think they're going to start to have to accept that they will be watched constantly by members of the public but right as far as police stations go in britain bella really wants some water now as far as police stations go in britain 
a lot of these ones in Cardiff have passed with flying colours. Now maybe it's because people like me and Monkey are pretty polite. Um, and we still have to have a conversation here and there. And the only trouble we've had so far is out on the street at the scene of a crime that was being um, lifted and removed. So we haven't um, so far experienced terrible policing. We've, we've experienced the stupid questions like, can you protect the identity of this number plate that's going to be roaming around the streets that everyone's going to see? Which is just like, what, what world are you living in? But some of the bigger um, encroachments into um, encroachments into uh, people's rights. Um, I'll turn that away because there's kids involved. There. Um, but the encroachments into people's rights that you've seen in other countries, uh, other places around the country, we've not seen so much in Wales. They've been fairly good. Um, uh, the reason I turned away there is because there's a couple of children who were uh, there coming out of the police station and I don't think that's appropriate for sure. As a member of the public, if it was my kids, I wouldn't want them to be seen like that. But this is, um, this is an important police station to remain open. I hope it remains open. This is uh, important, uh, historically an important place um, for community to be looked after and not harassed. Um, but uh, still, when you look back at the Cardiff 3, Cardiff 5, the net white murders, other things that happened in Cardiff, there has been a lot of corruption and a lot of it has been from this part of Cardiff. Okay, Bell. But for the time being, from Cardiff Bay, an order to everything. Here is Cardiff Bay Police Station, passed with flying colours. What a bunch of bastards. <laughs> Can't they just beat me up or something and make it good for the TV? What we know is that we will end up with many more unemployed uh, 